This leads on to idea number three. The third lesson you're gonna learn in business is super important. I've kind of covered it when I discussed two, but this is very important. Start ideas for free. People come to me all the time, Andrew, I have an idea for a business. Maybe you need a small investment. It's normal. Let's say you're developing an app, you need to invest in the app or something. That's that happens. But a lot of people ask for insane amounts of money. 50 grand, 100 grand, 200 grand. Oh, to start my business. You can start businesses very, very cheaply if you do it the right way. Let's look at our beautiful demonstration, our beautiful diagram here of our makeup company. If you start a makeup company this way, you need minimum 200 grand. You need an office, you need logos, you need trademarks, you need stock, you need staff, you need company incorporation, you need tax, you need accountants, you need advertising budgets, you need 200 grand, 200K to start this business. If you start business this way, make a website, put some pictures on there, pretend you've got a whole bunch of stuff you ain't got and start getting money in, you can start this business for five grand. Let's say for the website, five grand. That's 195 grand difference. Now, the problem with this business is you're gonna start getting money in and you're not gonna have any way to fulfill the orders. But back to business lesson number one, because you're a fast worker, because you're industrious, because you work with speed, you'll find a way to fulfill the orders. Hey, listen, worst case, you give them the money back. Worst case, you refund them. But at least with this idea, you can test the viability of your plan, one. And two, you're not in the hole. So let's assume both companies are bound to fail. Here you've lost five grand. Here you've lost 200 grand. Why risk all that money when you can do it cheap? Also, with five grand startups, you can now, for the same price as starting one company, you can now start 40 companies. One of them's gonna work, because they're five grand each to start. One of them's gonna work. So you have to learn that the idea of starting a business is not expensive. Get that out of your head. I'm a millionaire, a multimillionaire, and I will not spend more than five grand launching a company. Five grand max. I'll spend five grand, and if I see money coming in, maybe I'll invest some more. Or when the money starts coming into the makeup company, you might reinvest all the money. That's fine, because that ain't your money. That's money you're making. You can build a company off the money you're bringing in from the company and never spend your own money. That's how you launch a company. Now, every time I say this, people go to me, oh, well, what about this? What about that? If you're gonna launch a fucking airplane company and try and compete with Boeing, you need money, obviously. But I'm talking about for you guys out there, this is the Hustlers University. If you're looking at making money, starting a new company, or you already have a small company, the bi- some of the biggest mistakes you can make is investing lots of money. When you're broke, it's hard to make mistakes because you don't have any money to lose. When you're rich, it's easy to make mistakes because you have a lot of money to lose. Start companies as cheaply as possible, basically for free, by prioritizing money in and not prioritizing fulfillment. That way, you get to start companies cheap, You can start a lot of them, you have money coming in the door, and you can reinvest money you're making in your company and build your company from the ground up. Every company I ever made, including T2 Television, was done this way. When I got my first deal for T2 Television, I had a Blackberry and a business card, and I went to their office and I signed the deal. I had a business bank account that was free, no tax incorporation, nothing. They paid me and I used that money to buy an office. Done. I started a television advertising agency like this. I didn't get an office first. Office, staff, computers, desks. I I didn't have any money. I had the 12 grand from the commission, but I was saving that for myself in case it all went wrong. I could have blown my whole 12 grand and set up the office. But no, I bought a laptop. I had a laptop. I bought a Blackberry, had a business card, landed my first deal, and set up my whole business off of money already coming in. And if you can do that with an advertising agency, you can do that with nearly anything. This is television advertising. This is like premier shit back in 13, 14 years ago, before the internet was big almost. Everyone wanted to be on TV. That's how you start companies. I started an advertising company with a fucking Blackberry. This is how. This allows you to start more businesses and allows you to see what's viable and what's gonna make money and what isn't without risk. It's extremely important you approach businesses this way and not businesses this way. It is extremely important. Get this in your head. These first three lessons about speed, about money in being priority over everything else, and about starting businesses with this focus as opposed to the cost focus, 
money in as opposed to fulfillment, that's good. That, I've already taught you more than you're gonna learn about business anywhere else. That's key. Because if you do things this way, it's very hard to have a monumental fuck up. It's very hard to lose money. And also, now you can start nearly any company. You can start nearly any business.